the audit and review process and tax cycle runs all the time in the background. As you are preparing the return, the error indicators and bulletins appear to get your attention. A first indicator is a color in the corner of the field which shows the severity of the message. For example, red is critical and blue is a suggestion. A second indicator is a yellow background or highlighted field. Hover over the field to see a pop-up of the review message. From this pop-up message, you can click the icon on the left side to jump to the review sidebar and change the view to show a list of all messages of that type. If you do not want to address the message, click on the mark on the right to sign it off as a first review. Click it again to apply a second review. Click a third time to remove the review mark and reactivate the message. Or click on the link to complete the quick fix. Bulletins appear when a significant issue or potential action can affect the return or entire file such as creating an adjusted return, file in use by another colleague, or upgrading to a more recent module. As with the review messages, click the bullhorn button on the left to go to the review sidebar and view all bulletins. If there are several bulletins, click on the left and right arrows to scroll through them. Click the Dismiss button to hide the bulletin temporarily. It will reappear the next time you open the file. To hide it and prevent it from reappearing, click the review mark to sign it off. Signed off messages and bulletins continue to appear in the required attention view in the review sidebar. You can check the review messages at any time in the process of preparing the return. Click on the review sidebar. From the drop down at the top of the box, Select the type of message to view. The number in parentheses indicates the number of messages in that type. The icons on the left of the messages indicates the importance and severity of the message. Hover over a message and click the light bulb to choose a quick fix solution. Click on the mark on the right to sign it off or right click the message to see more options. Click the blue link in the message or double click on the message to jump to the source of the issue. Some messages are not required for filing a return. These messages have the option to never show this message for any clients. This option makes it possible to disable the review message for all returns. You can also enable or disable messages in options. To open options, click on the wrench button on the quick access toolbar at the top of the window or click on File Menu, then click Options. Expand the T1TP1 section, then click on Review to set the same options for all years, or click on the year to set different options for each year. To make it easier to find, you can use a keyword or display only disabled messages as needed. Check the box to enable the message, or uncheck it to disable it from all returns. Note some messages deemed critical for filing will appear grayed out and cannot be checked or unchecked. Once the changes are made, click on Apply or OK. From Options, you can also customize some review message actions. Click on Return Preparation, then click Review. Here you can enable or disable the yellow colored background, change the review mark's color to red, Enable or disable the hover pop-up message. Control when a message is removed. View or not a message when calculated values differ from imported values. Click Apply or OK to save your changes. As you are preparing the return, you can flag fields to review later. In the Home menu, click on the Review Mark button to pick up the mark. Click on a field to attach the review mark. You can also right-click on a field and choose accordingly. Click a second time to remove the mark. To return to a regular cursor, click the Select button. To add a memo to the current field, press the F8 key on your keyboard or right-click and select Attach Memo. Review marks and memos can be viewed from the Review sidebar. Other tools which may be useful in the review process are the summaries. Click on the Prepare sidebar and then Expand Summaries 
or do a fast find using the F4 key and search for summary to view the list.